no, I think Thorkill has more on that guy. They're brothers? You don't have to. What's going on, guys? Today we are checking out Villain Sagas Season 2, Episode 7, Iron Fist Kettle. I really enjoyed getting to meet Grandpa in that last episode and just sort of like the knowledge that he holds. I feel like that's definitely something that the younger generation overlook when our older generation speak to us um, from a place of, of just experience. Because it's not something that's only applied to this anime, right? It's something that can be applied to one's real life as well. We also got a little bit more of Snake and the guy definitely has a softer side to him that clearly he's not showing just due to his status but I'm liking the approach of that character thus far as well. And then let's just not forget Thorfinn got a friend and so now that that's been established I mean obviously you know the more they hung out it became clear that they were but in circumstances such as this one um, it had to be made clear and it was just such a wholesome interaction. I'm just gonna hop right into it, so let's get to it. I'm glad that they're actually showing us like what it looks like when they're on patrol. And like the downside once again is that he was saying that they were short staffed and they got such a big land. So these thieves are probably getting smart too. They're not already. <laughs> He looks nice with facial hair. <laughs> He's like, I'll leave y'all to love birds. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. Maybe he's just, you know, he was just done washing his face. I wouldn't be too surprised if that was the, the case. Man, they're really not in a bad situation at all considering the fact that they're slaves. Oh no. Okay, n n once I said something, right? Oh, now she's just making unnecessary comments. Oh my gosh, I can't, <laughs> I can't believe Torben has facial hair. Oh, Thorfinn's smile. I love how he's like keeping his eye on the goal. Good question. Will she like start avoiding him now? I wonder how long it takes it to like fully grow. I wonder how long it takes it to like fully grow. Pray hard. Right, because there's always that chance that it won't, right? Is he really? Thorfinn? <laughs> He's just so bewildered. Let's see it, Thorfinn. Join your friend. Is he related? Because he kind of has like the same type of hair. Is he a brother? Oh, he is a brother. <laughs> oh, he's going to take him with him. No faith in his son. Why don't you like show him a little bit? If you, you know, see that he has an interest for it. <laughs> oh, no way. He was trained by him? There's no way. I don't know why Snake just seemed younger. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. It's just the kids? They don't got parents? Is he just gonna make them work too instead? <laughs> I laugh because he's like the excited uncle to try to take his nephew out to do something. Despite what kind of situation we're talking about. Wait, they're brothers? I thought he was the uncle. They're brothers? Oh, that's his name? I can't believe they're brothers. Yo. Whoa. I don't know. I think Thorkel has more on that guy. No? Is he not proud of his past or something? Oh. He said sorry. Oh. He has a soft spot. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> And it's like you have to look out for your image too. I don't know. It's just like really weird. But you're like in charge, right? Punish them another way. <laughs> like save me from this decision. But but wait, hold up. Like it's actually quite interesting what is currently occurring, right? And I'm sure he doesn't want to let his son down either, because like he probably doesn't want his own son to think that he's like weak in any way. But I feel like if you're able to like handle yourself well, like how Thor's was able to handle himself in front of Thorfinn, you can then help your own son as well, uh, Thor Thorgel. Like then you can try to open his eyes too. That's what I was thinking. Have them work. A B? Didn't we just settle that they'll just work? Yeah. Yeah. Speak up. Uh. Oh, so the sister doesn't get hurt. Just don't show me the kids getting beat, please. <sighs> oh, he said I'll do it myself. <laughs> you don't have to. I don't. I don't understand if it's really a lie or he's just not proud of it. <sighs> they got him in the face. Too. But is it because of what he's already experienced? Wow. So it seems like she'll never be able to leave. Yeah. <sighs> this poor girl. I don't know how she does it. So I think the one thing that's unclear to me 
is is that are like the stories actually true i know he says they're lies but like are they really did he go through that then became afraid of it because there's no way that there's actually stories revolving this guy and their lies. I just don't see that really being the case. I think it's more like he has remorse of what he's been through and now he's just trying to forget that life. Because he has a son that kind of followed his steps. And when he comes back, he's like reminded of like himself and like the monster that's been created through his son and now I can see why he's fighting so hard for his other son to stay farming and not go out into war when we were introduced to this character I was so taken aback of like how kind they were portraying him to be yes I get it he has slaves that's not a good thing I totally get that aspect but I hope you guys know where I, what, what I'm trying to say when I, when I say that but you know despite the circumstance he offers the opportunity to like buy back your time it's so i would say rare for people like himself or people with his position his um the people in his status to just be kind so it was quite something the way the show was able to like portray that side of the story like i wonder how his own father feels about his current mindset and maybe he just doesn't know because once again he only tells this stuff to um I, I forgot her name but you know the slave that he was in bed with but i wonder if his own father can sense where his son is coming from so it's just like it's just like a lot of like different aspects of everyone's story happening in this just in this one location for someone to consider and it's just beautiful storytelling i never thought um, that character would take that sort of direction. I just wonder if one day he could actually stand up for himself, but I think it's that fear of his own son possibly like taking over or something like that. Or just like, I don't know. I don't know if like his own son disowning him. I don't even know if that's the right word, but just like disassociating himself with his father is a greater fear or if he actually thinks his own son will like do something to him. There's a lot of things that come with that. But alright guys, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe for more content and I'll see y'all for the next one.